Hello everyone and welcome back for another video here on the channel. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much for joining me on another video. You already know that I appreciate you guys so much. So within today's video, we will be budgeting out my second paycheck that I received for the month of July and we will be dealing with income that I received from my full-time job. So if you are interested in seeing my budgeting process, then just keep on watching. Okay, so as I said, this is our second paycheck for the month of July. If we look here on the calendar, I received this paycheck on July 14th. With this paycheck, I'm really trying to take advantage of the magic month and cover all of the bills that I can with this paycheck so that then at the end of the month, all of that money can be extra money that I can budget and plan what to do with. So if this happens to be your first time here on the channel, hello, welcome. My name is Monet, I am 24 years old and this channel focuses on budgeting, the cash envelope system, the debt snowball method, anything related to finances and trying to get a handle on them. So if you are also in a similar situation and you would like to learn how to budget and manage your money and gain financial freedom, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the family. I would love to have you. And don't forget to click the notification bell so that you are always notified when I upload a new video. But now that we know everything that we're getting into, let's just go ahead and get started with budgeting out my paycheck. So here we are back at my paycheck budget breakdown sheets. This is the sheet that I always like to use when it comes to my full-time paycheck and it just helps me budget and break down my money. If you are ever interested in any of the budget sheets that I use, they are available within my Etsy shop and the link for that is always left down in the description. So looking at paycheck number two, we will first be dealing with expenses. So once again, everything that is within this expense column, I do not take physical cash out for. I just leave them within my bank account and pay them when I need them. So the first expense that we have is for rent. This is going to be the second half and this is my rent that I will be paying for August 1st. So within today's paycheck, we will be able to complete this. So I'm gonna put aside $635 for the other half of my rent. Following that is my PSC and G. This is also something that I like to pay on the first and this is my gas and electric bill. So this is a variable expense. I'm never quite sure what the amount is going to be but I've been averaging about $50. So that is what I will put aside for my budgeted amount. And then following that, I have my files, which is for my internet. And for the month, I always pay $60. So I will write 60 here. And then up next is gas for my car. This is to cover me for the next two weeks. And since I get my gas from Costco, I just like to keep it within my debit card. So if we total up everything within the expense column, that comes to $775 for my expenses. After that, we can go ahead and move on to the cash portion. So looking at the cash, the first category that I have is for my car insurance. This will be due on the 25th. And to put aside the second half, I just need $98. Following that is my payment for my Great Lakes. For the other half, I'm going to put aside $220. And then after that is everything that I keep within my wallet. So these tend to stay the same and spending is going to get 40. Groceries will get 100. Toiletries is getting 45. Clothing is getting 10 and eating out will be getting 20. So if we go over here and total up everything within the cash column, that should be $533. As for my sinking funds, I am currently funding that with all of my side income money. So whenever I do my side income budgets, that's when I fund my sinking funds. So if we move on to our extra debt, this is also going to be my Great Lakes for my student loans. This is currently the only debt that I have left and I'm trying to pay as much as I can before we get hit with interest again. So from this paycheck, I will be able to put aside $223 and that will go into my debt snowball envelope. And I save that up for the entire month. And then anything that I am able to save within that envelope, I make an extra debt payment at the end of the month. As for my savings, I'm not gonna put anything here. And for a rollover or a buffer or a cushion, whatever you would like to call it, 
I like to put $5 aside for each paycheck. So that would be $5. And for a total that I'm going to withdraw out of the bank, I'm just gonna take out the 533 plus the 223. So that gives me a total of $756 that I will be taking out of the bank today. So nothing too crazy with this paycheck. Everything is pretty standard, so I'm not going to complain about that. But now that we know exactly where all of our money is going to go, I just head to the bank and get the cash. So when I come back, we'll get started with stuffing the cash envelopes. All right, everyone. So I have returned from the bank and I got the cash right here in the envelope. This is just our bank slip that I give to the teller so they know exactly what bills and how many denominations that I need. And I'm gonna put that to the side and then I will set up our money and bring you guys back once I'm done. All right, everyone, so we are all set up. I always place my money right up at the top. Within this binder is where I hold my sinking funds, my savings, and my debt snowball. Over here are the cash envelopes for my split bills. And then these are the cash dividers that I keep within my wallet 24 seven. So as always, we're just gonna go ahead and get started with our cash envelopes. And first up is our car insurance. So car insurance, we said, should be getting $98. So a 50, two 20s, a five, and three ones. And that should give us 98. So 50, 70, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98. And this will complete my payment for my car insurance. Each month I pay $198. So I already had the 100 and then this is the 98. So we have our full payment of 198. All right, so after that, we can do our Great Lakes. So for the second half, it's going to be $220. So that'll be 100, 220. So there we go, 220. And I will put that right in there. And that will complete my two envelopes for my split bills. So now we can get started with my cash dividers. I'm just gonna move this right here. All right, so within my cash dividers, I am doing the dollar challenge. So what that means is just any dollars that I come across within these categories, I set them to the side, and then we will count all of the dollars at the end of the year to see what I was able to save. So I did use quite a lot of my money this week, so I'm excited to see what is left. So let's go ahead and get started with my spending. So within our spending, I was giving myself $40. So as always, that'll be a 20, a 10, and two fives. So that's 20, 30, 35, and 40. So there we go. And I'm going to add that to what I have. And so far within my spending, I have 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75. So there we go, $75. That sounds good to me. Always love having some money just so I can spend on whatever. Up next it is groceries. So groceries will be getting $100 as usual. And I always take that out in 20s. So that should be 520s. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And within my groceries, I do not have any singles. So once we add that to the mix, as a total within my groceries, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 25, 30. So $130 is for my groceries, and that will get me by for the next two weeks. Following my groceries, it is toiletries. So toiletries will be getting $45. So we can do two 20s and a five. And I need to replenish on paper towels, toilet paper, detergent, all that stuff. And that takes up quite a bit of money. So now within my toiletries, I have 20, 40, 60, oh, 
I had singles, sorry. Let me set these singles to the side. So now within toiletries, I have 20, 40, 60, 65. So $65 within toiletries. We'll see what I'm able to do with that. After that, it is clothing. Clothing is going to get $10, so a $10 bill. And I'm trying to build up on my clothing as I told you guys last time. So now within clothing, I have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. So $70 within clothing, that's nice. Up next, it is eating out. Eating out is going to get 20, so we can do a $20 bill. And now I have 20, 40, 45. So $45 within my eating out. So that's everything within my dividers. This miscellaneous divider is just for any money that I need to deposit back into the bank. So we will go ahead and add this right back to my wallet. And put the dividers right in just like that. So there we go. So the next thing that we're gonna do is put aside our singles. So for the week, I only have $2 for my savings dollar challenge, but hey, that's all I was able to do, so that's good enough. But I have something fun to tell you guys about the coin jar situation. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I've been not complaining, but I've just been struggling on how I use this tiny little jar to hold my dollars. And I kept saying, I'm gonna get a new jar, I'm gonna get a new jar, but I really never got the new jar. So I have to give a shout out to my friend here on YouTube. I've been loving her for, I feel like it's been over a year I've been watching her. I just love her channel, love her journey. So Jackie Budgets, if you do not know Jackie Budgets here on YouTube, make sure you check her out. She has a beautiful family and she budgets as well. So be sure to check her channel out if you have a chance. I will leave the link for her down in the description box. But she watched my videos and she's also been aware of the struggle I've been having with this jar. So one day she reached out to me and she absolutely did not have to, but she said she wanted to bless me. So I really appreciate that. But guys, she got me this huge jar. I don't even think it's gonna fit in the frame so i'll just insert like a clip of what it looks like but it's this beautiful big jar and i'm able to put my dollars in here and it gives me even more motivation to fill it up because it's so much larger but yes i definitely had to let her know i already told her thank you but once again jackie thank you so much for getting this jar you definitely didn't have to but yes guys, so now we have a nice, beautiful, updated jar to put our singles in. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna transfer all of our dollars into this jar. All right guys, so there you go. The dollars have now been added to the jar and we are still making great progress on that challenge. So right after my dollar challenge, I am doing the coin challenge as well, and I have my coins in another little glass jar. So all of the coins that I was able to save for the past two weeks, I'm gonna go ahead and add them to this jar as well. All right, so there we go. Our coins are nice and added and we are all set and ready with our challenges. So the final thing that we have is our extra debt or our debt snowball envelope. So we will go to the back of our binder and get that. So within this paycheck, we were able to put aside $223. So that is the amount of money that we should have left. So, let me count. That's 100, 200, 20, 21, 22, and 23. So yes, $223. And that is going to get added right within our debt snowball payment. So now let's get a count so far for the month and see what we have. 
So that's 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 470, 490, 510, 520, 530, 540, 545, 550, 555, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, and 63. So that's $563. I hope I counted that correctly. But yeah, 563 within our debt snowball. That is amazing. Almost done with the month and we're already past 500. So I couldn't ask for more. So there we have it guys. All of our money is put away and we no longer have any cash in front of us. So that is always a good sign. All right, everyone, so that is how I'm going to wrap up our paycheck number two for the month of July. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to let me know down in the comments. Let me know some feedback, some things that you would like to see within my channel. Also, if you made it to the end and you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like what you see and if you enjoy the content. And be sure to give this video a big thumbs up because that is the best way to help support my channel and possibly let others see me that may benefit from it. So that's all I have for today, guys. And I will see you all next time within my next video. Bye, guys.